Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 best small cities to live in the United States in 2024. More Americans are choosing to leave the hubbub of big cities to move to smaller towns, according to multiple studies. Reasons include a desire for a less stressful environment, more affordable housing, lower cost of living, and a shorter commute. Thousands of smaller U.S. cities offer all of the above and more. But which one to choose? Below you'll find 10 prime candidates, drawn from public data and our own personal favorites. People find life in a small city appealing for a variety of reasons. If you're coming from a bigger city, a less populated one often means reduced traffic, noise, crowds, and pollution. You may see lower housing costs, or find you get more space and amenities for your buck. The overall cost of living also tends to be more affordable, given lower prices for groceries, gas, utilities, and dining out. Lower sales and property taxes can also be a factor. Smaller cities can be much easier to navigate. For families, the public school system may rank higher and be less competitive, no more stressing out trying to get your kid into pre-K. Smaller populations may also result in tight communities, where residents feel safe and welcome. Living in a smaller city can be more manageable for older adults especially, providing a peaceful and reassuring place to retire. Some retirees for whom taxes are a prime concern gravitate to small towns and states with lower taxes on retirement savings. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, urban areas have at least 5,000 people. A mid-sized city has a population of 100,000 to 250,000, and a large city has more than 250,000 inhabitants. Our list includes small cities with a population of 5,000 to 100,000 residents. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 best small cities to live in the United States in 2024. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 best small cities to live in the United States in 2024. Number 10. Bellingham, Washington. Population, 93,896. Median household income, $59,163. Median home value, $440,300. Median monthly rent, $1,222. Mean travel time to work, 18 minutes. Cost of living, 11% higher than national average. Crime, 1 in 234 chance of being a victim of a violent crime, 1 in 19 chance of being a victim of a property crime. Looking for a home in the Pacific Northwest that's not Seattle or Portland? Consider Bellingham. This coastal city in northwestern Washington serves up an expansive view of the Puget Sound. The area is known for its clean air, eco-friendly attitudes, and chill ambience. Bellingham is positioned halfway between Vancouver, Canada, and Seattle, with easy access to the San Juan Islands and the Mount Baker and North Cascade mountain ranges. Outdoor enthusiasts enjoy hiking, biking trails, fishing, boating, kayaking, and whale watching. Numerous beaches offer visitors a variety of landscapes, from hidden white sands to rocky shorelines and wetlands. Families with children can rest assured the Bellingham public school system is highly rated. There are lots of kid-centric things to do, including Boulevard Park, where kids can frolic in a pirate-themed playground, and the Family Interactive Gallery at the Whatcom Museum. Bellingham's active downtown area offers shopping, dining, art, and entertainment. You'll find public art exhibitions, a classic bowling alley, theaters, performing arts venues, museums, and the Pickford Film Center, where you can catch independent and classic movies. Bellingham has a strong and growing retiree population, along with college students from Western Washington University and many young professionals. At nearly 82% white, Bellingham isn't particularly diverse. The area enjoys comfortable summers with temperatures rarely exceeding 82 degrees. However, winters bring overcast skies, cold, and rain. It's a relatively safe city though it can be more expensive than others of its size. But if you want a small, seaside city with plenty of amenities, Bellingham lives up to its hype. Number 9. Santa Fe, New Mexico. Population, 89,008. Median household income, $33,297. Median home value, $312,300. Median monthly rent, $1,199. Mean travel time to work, 20 minutes. 
Cost of living, 3.6% higher than national average. Crime rate, 1 in 286 chance of being a victim of a violent crime, 1 in 29 chance of being a victim of property crime. The capital city of New Mexico, Santa Fe is a popular place to visit, attracting about 2 million tourists a year. It's also frequently touted as one of the best cities to live in, especially for those approaching retirement. In fact, 24% of the city's population is 65 and older. Santa Fe promotes a laid-back lifestyle. Because of its slower pace, the city skews suburban and doesn't feature a lot of nightlife. It does provide a diverse, culturally rich scene with a strong artistic and intellectual community. Visitors include authors, scholars, and global thought leaders giving lectures on a variety of topics. Entertainment offerings include productions by the Santa Fe Opera, Santa Fe Symphony, the local Santa Fe Playhouse Theater Company, and live music at multiple venues. People looking to move to Santa Fe to bring up children can count on an above-average public school system. Some people find Santa Fe a relatively expensive place to live, especially when it comes to housing. However, the city has a relatively low crime rate and a dry climate. Summers are warm to hot, with temps typically staying under 90 degrees, while winters are cold and snowy. One thing to keep in mind is that Santa Fe sits at 7,000 feet above sea level, so it can take a couple of days to adjust. For a small city, Santa Fe is rich in culture, history, the arts, and great southwestern cuisine. If you crave peace and quiet set against mountain scenery, Santa Fe might be the perfect place for you. Number 8. Bozeman, Montana. Population, 56,123. Median household income, $67,354. Median home value, $466,400. Median monthly rent, $1,229. Mean travel time to work, 15 minutes. Cost of living, 2% higher than the national average. Crime rate, 1 in 303 chance of becoming a victim of a violent crime, 1 in 76 chance of becoming a victim of a property crime. Surrounded by the Rocky Mountains, the southwestern Montana city of Bozeman has become an increasingly desirable place to live. In fact, the Wall Street Journal dubbed Bozeman as Los Angeles and reports real estate is booming with out-of-town professionals flocking to the city. Montana State University and Gallatin College are both located here. One big draw for families is Bozeman's excellent education system, especially when it comes to pre-K choices, which have grown significantly over the last decade. Kid-friendly activities include the Museum of the Rockies, the Jump Time Trampoline Park, and Gallatin Regional Park, or Dinosaur Park, where kids can swim, climb boulders, and sled in the winter. Bozeman is an outdoor lover's paradise. You can enjoy skiing, fly fishing, rafting, biking, hiking, and indulging in Bozeman's natural, rejuvenating, hot springs. You can make a day trip to Yellowstone National Park, 80 miles south of Bozeman. Like many other small cities, Bozeman has a downtown and a main street, where you'll find casual and fine dining spots, art galleries, and retail shops. Bozeman offers a range of arts and entertainment, such as a multiplex movie theater, the Montana Ballet Company, the Bozeman Symphony, and the Ellen Theater, a performing arts venue. The cost of living in Bozeman is a bit higher than the national average, especially housing. Summers are warm and the winters cold, with substantial snowfall, which may not make it ideal for retirees. Bozeman also doesn't offer much in the way of racial and ethnic diversity, with whites making up 91% of the population. Overall, for people looking for a safe family-friendly city with lots of vitality and a beautiful natural setting, Bozeman delivers. Number 7. Ithaca, New York. Population, 32,870. Median household income, $40,973. Median home value, $282,000. Median monthly rent, $1,248. Mean travel time to work, 18 minutes. Cost of living, 2.7% higher than national average. Crime rate, chances of becoming a victim of a violent crime is 1 in 327, 1 in 25 of being the victim of a property crime. Ithaca is often identified with its two colleges, Ithaca College and Cornell University. The busy college city is situated on Cayuga Lake, the second largest of the Finger Lakes. 
The region is also known for its gorges and numerous picturesque waterfalls. Cornell is Ithaca's largest employer, attracting educators and students from all over. While diverse, more than half the population is in the 18 to 24 age group. Retirees may prefer the summer months in Ithaca when the universities are on break and the weather is mild. Winters in Ithaca can be extremely cold and snowy. There's no shortage of things to do in Ithaca for children, teens, and adults. Kid-friendly attractions include many area state parks, the Science Center, the Ithaca Children's Garden, and the Museum of the Earth. Everyone can enjoy strolling on Ithaca Commons, a pedestrian walkway offering a vast array of restaurants, shops, and events. Autumn brings the Downtown Ithaca Apple Harvest Festival, followed by the Downtown Ithaca Chili Cook-Off in winter. Downtown Ithaca offers an immersive street art experience, with murals, sculptures, and a distinctly hippie vibe similar to Woodstock. Entertainment covers the gamut, with theater, film, and music. The State Theater of Ithaca is a 1,600-seat venue featuring year-round concerts, comedy shows, readings, dance performances, and more. Ithaca is considered safe, offering a lower cost of living, highly rated public schools, an inclusive sensibility, and lots of outdoor recreational options against beautiful scenery. Number 6. Cedar City, Utah. Population, 38,692. Median household income, $55,022. Median home value, $245,700. Median monthly rent, $861. Mean travel time to work, 14 minutes. Cost of living, 1.5% higher than the national average. Crime rate, 1 in 716 chance of becoming a victim of a violent crime, 1 in 86 chance of becoming a victim of a property crime. Cedar City is located in the southwestern part of Utah, situated 5,800 feet above sea level. To the east you'll find 10,000-foot mountains, and to the west, a large desert. If you're an outdoors enthusiast, look no further than Cedar City for fishing, rock climbing, skiing, kayaking, and stargazing. Often called the gateway to Utah's parks, Cedar City offers easy access to the spectacular Zion and Bryce Canyon National Parks. Besides the amazing natural landscapes of Red Hills and Alpine Mountains, Cedar City plays host to a number of arts festivals, earning it the nickname of Festival City USA. Some of these events include the popular annual Utah Shakespeare Festival, the Neil Simon Festival, the Groovefest American Music Festival, and the International Red Rock Film Festival. Cedar City provides a dense suburban atmosphere that primarily attracts young professionals and families, due to its lower cost of living and above-average public schools. The city is home to the small Southern Utah University, and the city's economy benefits from the school, along with tourism, agriculture, some mining, and industrial complexes. Number 5. Bloomington, Indiana. Population, 79,107. Median household income, $41,995. Median home value, $231,500. Median monthly rent, $988. Mean travel time to work, 17 minutes. Cost of living, close to the national average. Crime rate, 1 in 167 chance of becoming a victim of a violent crime, 1 in 43 chance of becoming a victim of a property crime. Bloomington is the home of Indiana University and its legendary Hoosiers basketball and football teams. Often called B-Town, Bloomington, Pop. 80,000 is frequently cited as one of the best places to live in Indiana and the U.S. for its lively, bohemian vibe. B-Town offers a walkable downtown area where you'll find restaurants, bars, shops, museums, art galleries, and venues for live music and comedy. Bloomington also features many parks, forests, lakes, and other spots to commune with nature. Much of life in Bloomington revolves around the university and its large student body, so retirees may not find it ideal. The city is often voted a great place to raise a family and gets high marks for its public schools. The cost of living is low and the city is considered relatively safe. Indiana winters can be very cold and snowy, and summers are warm, wet, and humid. It's cloudy a good part of the year too. Bloomington is flush with youthful energy and rife with perks, making it a great Midwestern city to hang your hat. Number 4. Fredericksburg, Texas. 
Population, 11,257. Median household income, $54,771. Median home value, $317,600. Median monthly rent, $1,064. Mean travel time to work, 17 minutes. Cost of living, close to the national average. Crime rate, 1 in 738 chance of being a victim of a violent crime, 1 in 92 chance of being a victim of a property crime. Fredericksburg is located in the middle of the state, in the Texas Hill Country. It's often voted one of the best places to retire, with retirees making up about 31% of the population. Older adults are drawn to the warm weather, low property taxes, affordable housing, and low crime. Fredericksburg was founded by German immigrants back in 1846, and the city retains a strong German connection. About 21% of the population is Hispanic or Latino, 6% Native American, and 5.4% encompassing Black, Asian, and mixed race. Tourism makes up a good part of the local economy, along with the medical and agricultural industries. A staggering 400 festivals take place each year, including a three-day Oktoberfest. Visitors will find a raucous live music scene, numerous breweries and distilleries, and more than 50 wineries. In fact, Fredericksburg is the most popular wine-tasting destination in the state of Texas. The Fredericksburg public school system is highly rated, and the many kid-friendly activities make it a great place to raise a family. Things to do include hiking trails and parks, and a main street featuring art galleries, restaurants, ice cream parlors, and toy stores. Younger adults and couples can take advantage of the many dance venues and bars. Number 3. Ames, Iowa. Population, 66,950. Median household income, $54,339. Median home value, $222,900. Median monthly rent, $972. Mean travel time to work, 17 minutes. Cost of living, 5% lower than the national average. Crime rate, 1 in 488 chance of becoming a victim of a violent crime, 1 in 65 chance of becoming a victim of a property crime. Home to Iowa University, Ames is a bustling college town in the center state, north of Des Moines. This energetic city is frequently listed as one of the best places to live in the country and one of the best college towns in the U.S. Schools here win national recognition, and the cost of living is reasonable. If you're looking for racial and ethnic diversity, Ames comes up short, with 80% of the population white. The city also skews young, with many college kids. While the city might not suit all retirees, families will find many parks, with opportunities for biking, golf, and an indoor ice arena. Ames has an Old Town Historic District and a downtown full of shopping, dining, art galleries, and live music. The Iowa summers can be warm, humid, and often rainy while the winter brings cold temperatures and often snow. But if you enjoy the heartland, Ames is a charming place to consider. Number 2. Greenville, South Carolina. Population, 72,310. Median household income, $60,388. Median home value, $349,300. Median monthly rent, $1,078. Mean travel time to work, 20 minutes. Cost of living, 5.4% lower than the national average. Crime rate, 1 in 141 chance of becoming a victim of a violent crime, 1 in 27 chance of becoming a victim of a property crime. If you're looking for a picturesque setting worthy of a postcard, Greenville may be the place for you. Situated in the northwest part of the state about halfway between Charlotte, North Carolina, and Atlanta, Greenville is a stone's throw from the Blue Ridge Mountains, lakes, rivers, and more than 50 waterfalls. Greenville's population is diverse, and the city is well-suited to families, retirees, and singles. Parents will find it appealing because of a highly rated public school system and myriad family-friendly activities including Falls Park on the Reedy River, Greenville Zoo, and the Children's Museum of the Upstate. For older adults, Greenville is often recommended as an ideal place to settle. The pace of living is slower, the weather is mild, and South Carolina is one of the best states to retire in when it comes to taxes. Like many smaller towns and cities, 
Greenville has a dedicated main street and lively downtown area catering to pedestrians, with wide sidewalks, outdoor places, and al fresco dining. My Son Main is a series of nine life size bronze sculptures scattered up and down the main drag, providing a fun scavenger hunt for all ages. Foodies can enjoy an array of international and regional specialties, including a bustling weekend farmer's market and several food trucks. More than 20 local breweries also serve as music venues and community centers. The city has a rich African American heritage, with 13 cultural sites across the greater Greenville area. Residents and tourists can catch the city's minor league baseball team, the Greenville Drive, the Swamp Rabbits hockey team, plus professional men's and women's soccer teams. Expect mild, comfortable temperatures during the fall, winter, and spring months in Greenville, but the summers can be hot and muggy. Number 1. Tupelo, Mississippi. Population, 37,748. Median household income, $58,887. Median home value, $158,800. Median monthly rent, $825. Mean travel time to work, 19 minutes. Cost of living, 19% lower than the national average. Crime statistics, 1 in 649 chance of being a victim of a violent crime, 1 in 96 chance of being a victim of a property crime. Located in the northeastern part of Mississippi, 90 miles from Memphis, Tupelo offers big city perks in a small town setting. This racially diverse area is often cited as one of the best places for young professionals, families, and retirees to live. That's due in part to a highly rated public school system, lower crime rate, low cost of living, and pleasant year-round weather. Each year, Tupelo attracts thousands of visitors to its museums and festivals, including the Gumtree Museum of Art and the Elvis Presley Birthplace and Museum. Tupelo celebrates its native son with an annual Elvis festival in June, and there's a chili fest in October. Tupelo offers a varied culinary scene, lots of authentic barbecue and southern comfort food, plus a vibrant downtown that's been designated at Great American Main Street by MainStreet.org. So, which are your favorite cities among the top 10 best small cities to live in the United States in 2024? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite cities among the top 10 best small cities to live in the United States in 2024 in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.